in spring is when those most darter species are breeding. And so the males are in their brightest colors during the breeding season and they do tend to fade. The color pattern does not change, but the, uh, the brilliance in the amount of color lessens throughout the rest of the year. They put on their best suits. Yeah. <laughs> it's always a surprise to see something so striking in the water. Uh, and you walk out there and you don't see anything, you drop that same net in, you pull up three or four of those rainbow darters, a, a variegate darter, how bright those green sides were today. Uh, I always get a thrill out of it. Uh, the bright colorations of the male fish are to attract uh, females and potentially let other males know that they're there when they stake out territory. So you know, that makes them visible to one another too, and not just to the females. Um, it's, it's probably a combination of those two things. It's worth having around because they're, the many of the species are indicators of good water quality. So if you um, a good example is the Scioto River itself, just south of Columbus. Historically, the water quality was not so good there. You didn't see a whole lot of diversity as far as darters. And now currently, over the last 15, 20, 25 years, things have gradually improved and we now see a lot more diversity as far as darter species in the river there. And it's a direct indication that the water quality has improved. When I teach children, what I try to do is uh, get them to understand that you just don't find this everywhere. Uh, Big Derby Creek is a special place.